Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you? I hope uh, you will be ready again after read. And uh, today we are going to start a new uh, topic of the English language that is third conditional. Third conditional uh, is a type of sentence in which uh, we uh, say a certain uh, type of condition. Condition means shart. Means if this condition will be fulfilled, so this uh, uh, this task will be done. Or if this condition will not be fulfilled, so this task task will not be done. So this is called third conditional. Uh, to understand third conditional, uh, you should uh, uh, watch my other videos on the uh, first condition and second condition, uh, and uh, you can also uh, read or and study about a fir first and second condition in your previous class uh, English language books. So let's start the third conditional. Third conditional, uh, you can see there is a formula if plus past participle and uh, number two would have plus past participle. So uh, third conditional have uh, two types of sentences. Uh, in the first type of sentence, the sentence starts from if clause and, and the first part of the sentence starts from the if and the second part of the sentence or the second part of a uh, second clause of the sentence starts from the word clause. In the second type of sentence, then it becomes opposite. The first part of the sentence starts from the word clause or uh, and the second part of the sentence starts from the if clause. And there is past participle, third form of the verb uh, is used uh, in this type of sentence. Now, come to the other side. We use the third conditional when we imagine a different past where something did or did not happen and we imagine a different result. So, uh, it's, it's very clear that uh, we imagine that if uh, this would be ha this would happen, so this would be the result or if this would not happen, so that would be the result. So, that is called uh, conditional sentence means we put some condition that due to this condition this work was done or due to this condition this work was not done okay now let's go to the examples if i had known about it i would have told you it means i didn't know about it so i could i couldn't tell you i had no idea about this thing so i couldn't tell you so the uh, condition was knowing uh, so that's why he, the, the, he didn't tell you number second we often use the third condition when we talk about regrets or want to complain about something we often use often means aksar often is in American English T is not silent in British English uh, there is often so some teachers speak American English you will uh, listen often from them and some teachers uh, use British English they speak British English so you will listen often from them both are correct we often use the third condition when we talk about regrets regrets means of source karna or want to complain about something so in that case also we use the third conditional sentence uh, 